A rapidly developing storm here on the 21st of June 2021. We now have Tropical Depression 6. If JMA does upgrade this to a tropical storm, it would be called Chompy. And I think there actually is a pretty decent chance this is going to be a tropical storm. It continues to spin up pretty quickly here. Plenty of convection. You see the low level center actually located here in the southern portions of the convection. And the track likely is going to take it just south of Guam, but you can see. Uh, plenty of those thunderstorms off to the north here. That's where a lot of the outflow is. So despite the track going just south of Guam, they're still going to get impacted by heavy rainfall, some gusty conditions here, likely upwards of about tropical storm strength. And you can see the official track actually from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, JTBC, by the way. Uh, same as what the National Weather Service in Guam uses. Uh, in fact, uh, JTWC would, is kind of the National Hurricane Center for the U.S. territories out here. So this is what a lot of the warnings are going to be based off of. And you can see right here, that threshold right there, that's that 35-knot wind threshold on the southern portions of the island. Thus, I would not be surprised if tropical storm warnings will be issued uh, for the island of Guam. Maybe not so much for Saipan or uh, Rota, but uh, at the very least, Guam uh, could be issued there. As you can see that uh, they're expecting those 35 knot winds. So tropical storm, once it passes on by, then moves off towards north and eventually over towards the Ogorsara Islands. In fact, the ensembles, remember this is for information purposes only, and uh, you don't want to take this at face value, but uh, typically with these ensembles, there's kind of a spread, not a spread here. It's moving off towards north of the ECMWF and as well with the GFS, uh, pretty kind of kind creep before it gets wrapped up with the rainy season front just towards the east of Japan. And this is that overall background flow I like to use. And what you get here is that 850 to 500 millibar overall flow. The Westpac High in control. You have that rainy season front with the jet stream dominating from Taiwan over through Okinawa. That's why they've been seeing plenty of thunderstorms out here in the southern Japanese islands and even that southwest monsoon back here towards the west. All of that said, our tropical system, upward vertical motion indicated right there, that vorticity is going to track here and follow that overall flow and pull towards the north. I, I mentioned that because uh, I had a few questions from people here in the Philippines. Is it going to move there? It looks very, very unlikely. This is going to track west and eventually turn towards the north, with the biggest impact being here uh, in Guam. You know, a 70% chance of rain? Yeah, I think so. You know, that's from the National Weather Service. Big thing is going to be that rainfall. In fact, the uh, National Weather Service there is saying upwards of about five to six inches is possible, as well as these obvious gusty winds, which, as I mentioned, a tropical storm warning, I think is going to be issued. That would be tropical storm level winds expected within 36 hours. So I would not be surprised if in the near future, um, the National Weather Service there does issue that. Uh, we're probably not going to get the hurricane or typhoon level, though. Uh, very unlikely, but the storm is spinning up quickly. I mean, uh, it's embedded within all this dry air around it, but it's also away from a lot of the shear associated with the monsoon, that rainy season front towards the north. So it's kind of in the only area out here in the Western Pacific that would be conducive for a organized tropical system. And the last 12 hours it really really has been spinning up so if you're out here in uh, guam rota uh, be ready for at least tropical storm conditions here as uh, as we go ahead through tuesday into wednesday by the way that monsoon still bringing heavy showers not only from uh, the philippines but even back towards okinawa as well that southwest monsoon scattered showers out there though i know that actually had some uh, reports upwards about 50 millimeters into the Cagayan valley they uh, for sure need the rain there as well so developing storm near guam tuesday through wednesday is going to be the biggest impact okinawa uh, more showers in the forecast for you and the monsoon continues out there in the philippines by the way from the philippines uh reynolds sent this in absolutely love this looks like some rice patties there beautiful beautiful shot by the way also if you are in guam you want to share some photos that'd be fantastic especially with this storm uh passing on by so i have another update uh on this storm likely in about 12 14 hours so uh, we're talking about your uh yeah, probably once the storm gets pretty close to guam that'll be my next update i'll try i'll try to post it as soon as possible though by the way if you do like this video and you want to help out uh keeping these updates going check out our patreon these are all the typhoons that's five dollars a month people have been donating or ten dollars a month uh absolutely fantastic you guys are my heroes uh, i love you uh it, it really it helps out a lot you don't even 
I mean, no, <laughs> with, with these donations, uh, because uh, all of this does add up. Um, so yeah, check that out. I'll put it down in the link below. New models are going to be coming in the near future. By the way, um, the Climate Awareness Day is coming up here in pretty soon. You know, and I, I mentioned this with the tropics because our oceans are getting warmer, and that often means bigger storm systems. And uh, may not be the case exactly with this one, but sea surface temperatures are above average out there, even around Guam. So. Something I'm going to talk more about uh, this upcoming week. For now, though, if you want to hit that subscribe button, please um, go ahead and share this video out. If you're out there on Guam, share some of your reports from this storm as well. The key thing, as always, though, stay safe out there. Have a good day.